Well, hey there everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel as always on Deluxe. All right, let's do another 5-2 Toys review because I love some freaking 5-2 Toys. Today we'll be taking a look at BB37LO Lotus. This is a beast box. Uh, it's a Prey Mantis. Uh, I think this is like maybe the fourth or fifth recolor. So there you go. Beautiful artwork as always. Beast box. There you go. Very cool. Scan that code if you want to. And then you got the back right there. Looks cool. You can see it all there. And beast mode to box mode. All right. Let's take a quick look what it comes with. All right. Comes with a collector's card. A little bio card. Once again, beautiful, beautiful artwork. I love that. Looks good. Lotus BB37LO. And on the back, if you want to pause for the cause and read that, you are more than welcome to. You got some stats. Pretty cool. Instructions, as always, really good. Nice big pictures and stuff. Easy to follow. Very nice. And comes with a box charger. This is just a plain, clear, translucent one. There you go. It says Caution 2020 Fatu Toys. On the other side, box charger. All right. There you go. So, yeah, that is all. Hey. All right. Here she is. Or he, he, or she. I think it's she. Um, Perfect Assassin. It's a Prey Mantis. This is the box mode. As you can see, it fits in there, or cube mode, whatever you want to call it. There you go. And as always, beautiful, beautiful paint. I love that purple, or I'm sorry, pinkish. Pinkish uh, fades into the white. You got some nice gold that highlights the uh, sculpt work and everything. The details looks good. Love, love that. This kind of um, pinkish, uh, glitterish, kind of uh, glittery. It's glitterish, a word, <laughs> a glittery uh, kind of effect on there, on the wings. You can see right there, when you uh, shine the light on it, it looks really nice. A nice pink and kind of a silverish kind of coat to it, but it's beautiful. Comes off really nice. Like I said, this nice pink that fades into the plastic looks so good. On here, you got some nice green and gold as well. Translucent pink, very nice. And then on that side, and once again, the same looks freaking awesome love the paint job on this one so yeah not much to it is a cube you know like they transformed all the cubes and yeah i like it and like i said you can put it in the box charger and you can take others uh i have one of the recolors uh vaporwave i have the other ones too i just couldn't find them but i found i found this one like i said you can stack them like this or you can stack them like that and all that good stuff and you can make a big old wall of them so uh well here let me show you real quick between the this is the pink vapor wave one there you go and there you go so once again that beautiful paint job once again it does the same thing on this it's just a a pink or like a reddish instead of a purple or, or pink is purple i think that's purple i don't know why i keep saying pink that's purple kind of fades into a pink kind of a little bit but there you go so there is the differences from uh, Vaporwave and Lotus. That's pretty cool.
All right, back for transformation. Here is Lotus in her beautiful, beautiful color scheme. I love it. The pink, the nice uh, like purple, kind of pinkish purple. Got it going. Got it green. Got a little blue right there for the symbol on the chest right there. Looks very nice. Love, love the head sculpt. Love the honeycomb eyes. Very nicely done. As far as articulation for the head, you can go up quite a bit. You can move like you got a little ooh, ooh right there. You can go down. And you do have a swivel, so very nicely done on the head sculpt. It looks good. I like it. Then you got the arms. Once again, you can see the nice sculpt work. I love the paint when it that just draws out of stuff, man. I love when they do that. Just uh, paint that a little bit, really pops. Nice gold right there. The pinkish purple right here. Love the purple fading in, and the translucent right here looks good as well. A little gold on the tip. Uh, so as far as that, you can go out to about right there. It's on a ball peg. You go back and forth. You do have a hinge right here the uh kind of the i guess i don't know what you all call it the uh elbow thing right here it does move a little bit back and forth you do have a hinge right here and a hinge right there so very nicely done you got quite a great uh, articulation for that and you do have a ab crunch kind of like an ab crunch and you have a swivel too right there so very nice translucent throughout very nicely done on the back and you got the green and the gold paint right here Love the purplish right there fading into the plastic. That is nice. <clears throat> All right, so for articulation with this, you got back and forth. You got a hinge right there, a hinge right here, a swivel right here, a hinge right here, and a hinge right here. Man, tons and tons of articulation for her. I like it. Same for the back, same thing. Very nice. Wings go up and down. You got a little swivel right here too as well. Once again, love that paint job. Got the nice pink, pinkish purple, and you got nice, like a nice silver, like a, I don't know, coating over it. And it looks good. Brings it out really nice, especially on the tail right here. Looks good. And that's about it. So, the, uh, no swivel or anything like that. The tail can bend up and down. This can bend up and down, and these can have a flap as well. So, you can move that around. So, very nice. A beautiful, beautiful, one of my favorite uh, molds. For uh, five two toys, it's a brain menace. So I have like I like to say four or five of this, and they're very nice. But there you go, that is Lotus, and I think she looks freaking awesome. Very nice. And there they are next to each other. This is Vaporwave, one of the ones I found. Like I said, I have some other ones, just couldn't find them. And this is a limited edition one. Very nice. They got the pink, the darker pink, kind of reddish. Everything. Once again, got the fading in of the um, you know paint. And once again, you got that nice reddish pink, but you also have that nice silver finish over it. And there's that side. And like I said, that's just a recolor. There's nothing else has changed, just a different, different colors. But there you go. That is Lotus and Vaporwave together. All right, folks, let's talk about some 5 2 Toys Beast Box Lotus. Once again, one of my favorite uh, molds from them. I love the Praying Madness. I have, like I said, four or five of them, and they're beautiful. Just beautiful uh the cube mode you know it's, it's cube mode you know it is what it is transformation easy this one's one of the easier ones but man when it comes in when it gets into its beast mode it is beautiful like i said the paint on this is spectacular i love the gold the pinkish purple man i love the wings got that you know like nice little coat of like silver or whatever kind of makes it look a little glittery really nice and done with that so yeah love the paint the green on there it's just good. I love the head sculpt. I love the honeycomb eyes. It just looks beautiful. Uh, articulation, really great. The arms, the legs. Man, you're getting great poses for uh, this little fella. Uh, man, she just looks, you know, awesome. Um, so, yeah, really like the articulation. Materials feel good. Mostly everything's on ball pegs. Um, but, yeah, very nicely done. Like I said, one of my favorites. I hope they do another one. If they do it, I definitely will get the recolor. Everything. I don't think I showed you. You can move this up and down, too, as well. And these little things right here. So you can get her into some nice little, nice little poses and everything. Like I said, really great, really great. One of my favorite uh, molds out there, Five Two Toys. Love some Five Two Toys. All right, so hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. It all helps out the channel. It really does. And if you watch my reviews, it actually helps. And uh, yeah, hit me up some comments. Tell me thought of the review. Do you like this mold? Do you like the Praying Menace mold? Do you have any of them? Um, like I said, there's a couple to choose from. So uh, I guess I'll see you in the next uh, Five Two Toys review. And as always, be good to yourself. Man, hell freaking five two toys and hell freaking praying menace. This is really awesome in Lotus. All right, good night, folks. Hey there, everybody. If you made this far, 
I really appreciate that. I really do. So quick question to all my 5-2 Toy fans. Um, do you wish they maybe make a comic or something nowadays? I know we get a little bio cartoon thing. That'd be cool. But I'd love to see a comic, even a series, like a Netflix series, you know, like they did with Transformers. I would love to have a, see a series of 5-2 Toys and we do it. I guess, you know, it'd be pretty fun, you know, see all the different um, stuff, you know, just, you know, once you give it a cartoon, it kind of, you know, gives it meaning, I guess, I guess that's the right way to say it, but it just, you know, gives it more, you know, details, you know, and you can get some backstories, you know, better backstories are these, so that'd be pretty cool if they made like a little series, or even like I said, a comic, that'd be cool, like a series comic, you know, like a 10 series comic, sort of like that with all these, that'd be awesome, and I would love to see the Praying Menace in there, that'd be pretty sweet. All right, well, um, floor time, you gotta love it.